Lucas Media. Shout out to Blue Blood. Watched one of his videos earlier. And apparently, Derrick James and Earl the Truth Spence, former unified champion at 140 pounds, 47 pounds, are into it over potentially money. Now, there's rumors out there that Earl was kicked out of the gym by Derrick James. Out of Derrick James' gym. Now, and according to Blue Blood, he had broke down that it's potentially over the money and that Derrick James was getting paid a percentage of the guaranteed money. But the way PBC does it is you get the back end money. If you go watch Adrian Broner's interview with DJ Vlad, he always talked about that is I got paid two million on paper, but that's not counting the back end that comes in for years and years. And that Derek James is upset about that, even to where he's gonna take legal action against Earl Spence. And again, I said in my video, I previous video, I hate that it came that it's coming down to that. Usually that's what happens. And when these fighters are winning, you don't really hear a lot of stuff like this. The last, well, it, maybe with Mike Tyson, because it was just so many people trying to get to his assets. But normally, or usually, when you're winning, everything is good. But when it's that first loss, you start investigating everything and changing circles. Just like Ryan Garcia, when he lost now to Tank Davis, he had issues with Golden Boy, even to where he's calling him out at the press conferences. And honestly, the list goes so on and so forth when it comes to people changing managers, changing trainers after their first loss. I hate to see that because Derrick James has been training Earl Spence since before Earl turned professional and he helped Earl Spence get three of the four belts at 147 pounds but this is what money does I mean people fall out for a whole lot less Derrick James allegedly suing Earl for five million dollars he feels like he's been cheated and I've, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that it was a handshake deal. Like, it's, it's, it's really not on paper. I don't know, but I will say this. I do think that, you know, boxing is a shady business and even just business in general. So, you got to be careful out here. And you got to have stuff on paper. I don't care if y'all best friends or whatever. It's, it's got to be on paper. Because if it ain't on paper, it ain't by contract, lawyers ain't check it, it didn't happen. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?